Woodworking. Hello, folks. This is Larry with uh, Woodshack Woodworking. And we had a customer today ask us to cut some little end cuts like this. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I posted a video on our old sawmill. But uh, everything's been coming along pretty good. We've been cutting quite a few logs here in the past couple of months. Uh, we've been real busy building a new home, so it's uh, taking a lot of time away from me. But anyhow, uh, the video I'm going to post today is just a little update uh, on the old sawmill. I actually raised up, I guess you call it the table, or the tracks uh, that the sawmill's been running on. Because I had some issues with the bottom log. Uh, you, just, you just couldn't get the sawmill down low enough to really take advantage of the last cut. And what I mean by that is if you look at the, the bottom of the blade here, it was actually hitting here because this is a little further out than uh, really what it should be but I like it that way because it kind of keeps my saw uh, you know the head balanced again this blade up here hits here and you have about oh out of two and a half inches of board you can't split that in half so if you're building a sawmill keep that in mind that your blades only gonna go down so far before it hits the, the actual square tubing that we have down here which causes conflict on the thickness of the log. And I'll give you an idea. I saw the old, old mesquite that I just cut here yesterday. You can actually uh, get down and see the thickness of this one here. It is about two, two and a quarter inches. Now, while I was up a little higher, I could cut these, these thinner ones down to one inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, somewhere around that. When I got to this bottom one, being that blade was hitting that, uh, that leg on the bottom, I had to leave this one as thick or either raise the table up. So as you see here, what I did was just went in and added me some more 2x2 two two and brought it at 2 inches. So now I'll be able to use the full capacity of the saw cut down to a 1 inch flat board on the bottom. But back to what we're telling you about today. I had a customer request uh, some of these little low end cuts at an angle with my little sawmill and I knew I didn't have a way to do it really uh, she wants about 40 of these I'm not sure what they use them for but if y'all out there in YouTube land know just post some comments what, what are these actually used for I don't I never get that many requests to, to cut these so what I did was I went in and if you look underneath here I've just kind of welded me a little stand a little Y I guess you can say a little basket and I just set the log on one end and it's adjustable down there we see that old 9 16 ranch. I pick it up or down to, to get the angle of what I'm trying to cut. Now, yeah, y'all are going to say, well, you can only cut down as far as the top of that Y, that, that little holder. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We'll make some adjustments there. Uh, proceed as needed. But, again, this video is just a post. A little update on what I did on the old sawmill uh, to keep a customer happy. And do a little experiment and see if it was even possible. We're going to be cutting a lot more uh, mesquite, a lot more cedar in the next couple of weeks. We've got a stack way out there full of it. We've got a whole bunch more coming out of the woods we need to pick up next weekend. Again, this is Larry from Woodchack Woodworking with this old homemade sawmill, just kind of giving y'all an update on some of this old really nice cedar that we're cutting here. Kind of an odd cut and how we uh, came to the conclusion of how we was going to do it. If anybody out there is building these sawmills and got any better ideas, post them in the comment section. Hey man, we all like learning. Uh, I apologize for the background noise from the highway. We're real close to it. There's not much I can do about that. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to start posting a lot more videos when we get up north and we've got a bunch more big trees up there that we're going to be milling and posting on YouTube. Thanks for watching.